Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you would never ask. It is Thursday. Today is the 21st day of May, and that means today is National American Red Cross Founders Day. Okay. It's also National Wait Staff Day, National Memo Day. Can you make a, a memo of that? I will make a note. And it's also National Strawberries and Cream Day. Ooh, that sounds good. Mm. That does sound really good. Um, it's also a Thursday, so we have this little thing called Dear John Letters, and we got a fun Dear John letter to get to today. And I also want to remind people, if you have something that you would like to submit for a Dear John letter, it's really simple to do. It's free. do not cost nothing at all. And you get not only advice from John, but more importantly, you get advice from Heidi. Yeah, you do. And I always look forward to her advice because her advice is sometimes... Very interesting. (laughs) But here's the actual most valuable thing, is you get the advice of other people in the listening audience. Everybody who wants to can chime in. Uh, We've got our Dear John letter for today at Facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. Many people have dabbled in the stock market for their very first time ever this year. If you're new to the market, but you don't want to learn things the hard way and the expensive way, I encourage you to subscribe to this free newsletter. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at MarketBeatMinute.com. Subscribe for free. If you change your mind, just unsubscribe. Sign up for free right now at MarketBeatMinute.com. That's MarketBeatMinute.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Survey from Slick Deals found 72% of Americans have used online impulse shopping to cope with the coronavirus lockdowns. So they've spent more time sitting there at a computer or on a phone, some screen, scrolling through, seeing things that they go, wow, I think I need that. Here's the thing. I... How many times a week do I leave the house typically under normal circumstances and yeah, go to go shopping. to the stores? Yeah. Just even if she doesn't buy day. anything, even if She'll I come, come home, home with nothing, nothing I'm like what, what did you do all day? I'm so happy I and through. I'm content yeah. and I feel good. Yeah, I bet four times a week. Yeah, probably. I leave for several hours and I'm it's just like shopping. Yeah. yeah, they've been closed and I've yeah. been. Miserable. And yeah, we got these packages showing up. Oh, the yeah. I'm like, what is this? And, and for? online, I don't have the same <laughs> restraint that I do. Well, I've got in a link stores. to this survey if you'd like to read all about it. It's in the show notes for today at John and Heidi Show. I miss my stores. Yeah. Some credit cards have really high rates or big annual fees. Usually, people sign up for these when it's all they qualify for. If that sounds like you, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation changes, and you may qualify for a better credit card. Your current card hopes you don't think about it, but our site shows you many options to see if there's a better credit card for you. Check it out for free at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. This is your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. A 50-year-old Montana man by the name of Ronald Joseph Gallagher was arrested on several different charges, including marijuana possession, resisting arrest, and disorderly conduct. He was released on bond, three misdemeanor counts. Uh, As seen in his booking photo, he is a frequent flyer in the lockup. He's wearing a a shirt that says drug-free right on the shirt when he was arrested for drugs. The, it says the shirt's full kicker just ran out yesterday. So apparently, it says drug free just ran out yesterday. It was on the bottom. Uh, it was cropped out by the jailhouse photographer. Mm. So you only saw drug free in the mugshot. The other part wasn't in there. But that is what happens when your brain is on drugs. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Actress America Fiera. Revealed that she and her husband, Ryan Pierce Williams, welcomed their second child oh, just recently, a daughter named nice. Lucia. Uh, that's really cool. And then The Sun. Now, is that like, that's a tabloid thing, right? Magazine, yes. The Sun? Yeah, yeah. But is, isn't is that one that's kind of like, they, they just make stories up, or is that for oh, real? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's is it a legit news source or not? Well, it depends on what they're talking about. Okay, well, I think here's... sometimes they are legit, and most of the time they're not. Okay, well... Either way, here's the story. It says, The Sun is reporting 
that Kim Kardashian and her husband, Kanye West, have been at each other's throats during quarantine, and they're staying on opposite ends of the house. You know what? Nobody knows what happens in yeah. somebody else's house. Just yeah, mind know. your own business. Well, and, and here's the thing. Why does anybody care anyway? Even if that is Do accurate. Care? I don't It's not going to no. change my life at all. No, but even if it is either. accurate, I can understand how that could happen. But the good news is for them, they have a giant house. So, What do you mean you can understand? Are you saying you, you, you're saying you relate? Since you are my <laughs> wife, I do plead the fifth. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. We're here to make it better. If you find that drug or alcohol problems are hitting you too close to home, you can get help. Maybe it's time for rehab. Your insurance may even cover everything. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. Get help for a drug or alcohol problem within 24 hours. We're here to make it better. Get more information at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now your scoop of the day. It comes your way courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Guns N' Roses, a rock band from the 80s and 90s. They're releasing... I love them. This is such a weird story, though. They're releasing a children's book, and it's expected to be out this fall. Now, I don't know if this is the real name. This is what I... Because I was looking for it online, and online... It said the name of the book is called Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Groupie. But I don't know if that's for real. Oh. I don't know if that's really the, the name of it or if that's just somebody online goofing a around. A working title? Yeah. just a, <laughs> but It's why, a working title. Why are Guns N' Roses putting out a children's book? That's I mean, a little it doesn't concerning. Really, I don't know that it's concerning. It's it just concerning. Seems, <laughs> no, it just seems like a really weird thing the for them to do. The stories that I've heard about the band as a yeah. whole, it's a little uh, concerning. You don't want them talking to your kids. I don't know. I just, again, they, they're probably nice enough people. I, I actually met Slash. He's in that band. Yeah. And yeah. did you think he, he, was, he was? Do you have not, a glowing recommendation? He was, he was actually you very. You do not. He was very rude to everybody there, <laughs> which was sad because I'm this like, is oh, what I'm saying. And there were a lot of people who were huge fans of him, and then I watched him walk away, like, oh, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> so that's too bad. This hey, is what I'm saying. Moving on to a different performer, Dean Martin's coming back to Las Vegas. I love Dean. I know what you're thinking right now. Didn't he die? Dead. Yes, he did. But his daughter. Dina Martin said that uh, the legendary singer may return to Las Vegas as a hologram next summer. Would you go to a hologram show? No, not for anybody. I just, no. uh, that would be really hard for me. But no. you're hearing more and more about that, people doing it. Just watch an old concert online. Yeah. Line. yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I, no, no, I wouldn't. It would be really tough. A uh, fast food chain by the name of Arby's, you probably heard of them. They're selling a twice. puzzle by the name of, uh, it's the Arby's 13 Hour Puzzle. Now, the name is inspired by their fan favorite dish, the 13-hour smoked brisket. I've not had one. I have to try it, apparently. It's a 1,000-piece puzzle covered in all sorts of delicious favorites, uh, and apparently they think it's going to take you 13 hours to make it. Put it together. I'm probably not going to rush right out and do that. This is actually pretty adorable. A fourth-grade teacher recently shared one of his students' funny attempts at skipping a Zoom class by saying he was having internet issues, he changed his screen name to Reconnecting. I saw that. That is mis- so cute. He misspelled Reconnecting. What a stud. <laughs> yeah, it's like this kid. A he for came, effort. He just blocked his webcam. A for effort. And had it say we- Reconnecting. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. So, like, what a stud. The whole time he's listening to what they're doing, but he's like, I'm going to yeah, I saw do whatever that. I want to do. That was Reconnecting. Awesome. Reconnecting. I'm going to try that for my next Zoom meeting. How do I spell I wish I would have been half that smart at oh, that yeah. age. Yeah. Uh, surprising tip for making people admire your conversation skills. Count the number of times a person blinks. Researchers show that people will become more re- receptive to what you have to say if they feel like you're riveted to every word they say. One of the easiest, easiest ways to signal that you're paying attention is to make eye contact. So they're saying you're supposed to count the number of times they blink. It'll force you to maintain Extreme eye contact. You're staring at me right that now. That makes me stop? super uncomfortable. It's like you're looking into my soul, Heidi. I Look do away. not like that. If you're staring at me, yeah, that's usually, staring at yeah, me while I'm trying to talk, either. I'm going to walk away and start yes. another conversation with somebody else, <laughs> just so you people. know. All right. Your scoop of the day brought to you by insurancechicken.com. Do you pay too much for insurance? Have you looked around? Or are you too chicken? Ah! 
Don't be afraid to look around to see if you can find a better deal at insurancechicken.com. We make it super simple for you to see rates from several different companies to see what they have to offer all in one place. Heck out great insurance deals at insurancechicken.com. Is it time for you to cross the road? See if we can save you money each month at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. And it's time right now for Dear John Letters. All right, Heidi, I've got a very important Dear John letter this week. Ladies and gentlemen, listening at home, I want you to chime in as well with your advice. We'll tell you how to do that here at the end of the Dear John letter. But first, the Dear John letter for today. Dear John, I'm supposed to be getting married in a few weeks. My wedding has been put on hold because of the pandemic. Mm. I've been looking at new dates, and I've been trying to decide if I want to wait for my dream wedding or just get married now and have a dream marriage instead of the big fancy wedding. My mom thinks I should wait. I'm pretty sure my dad would love it if I skipped the big expensive ordeal. What are your thoughts? Should we elope at home? Signed, bride-to-be. First, I'll, I guess I'll yield to my beautiful bride, Heidi, because uh, I'm going to let you answer first. I think I know what you're going to say, mm-hmm. and I, it's probably the same I thing I'm going to say. But go ahead. I'll let you answer first. Ladies first. Okay. I'm not ashamed to say that I am on my second marriage. My I, I, second I'm, marriage has I'm her lasted second husband. 20 years, and Yay! it's been wonderful. My first marriage, I was so focused on the big wedding and the big to-do and all the money and all of that. It didn't even last a full year. But you had a big wedding. The amount of money that you spend on the nuptials has nothing to do no. with the way your marriage turns out. No. Period. And, and I would say something very similar. I was married very young. So I doesn't say in here how old she is. So I have no idea. Uh, I was married very young and spent a lot of time and effort planning a wedding. Yeah. And, you know, th- thought, hey, we're going to have this great wedding. But I love what you say in here. Instead of having my dream wedding, should I get married now and have my dream marriage? Yes. Not focus to say on the marriage. you can't have a, oh, a exactly. dream marriage no. if you have a dream wedding as well. And I well. know. I know some but, people who've done that. But they are not a correlation. No. It, it has nothing to do with the other. So, nothing to do with the other. Because my first marriage, we spent a ton of money and it was a huge, colossal yeah. mistake. <laughs> then I married you and we... Just, we decided to have a destination wedding. Yep. That just us. We didn't even know the people who stood up for us. No, we, we met. We, we met our best man and made of honor at, at the resort. The resort. It was kind of crazy. We said, "Hey, you want to be in our wedding?" Throw a caution to the wind. Yeah. Let's just do this. But and, but and I, we've been together twenty years. That that is my only point is that you don't have to have all of that for it to last forever. And you have picked a date. That date meant something to you, or you wouldn't have picked that date. So here's what I would but do. But did it? Because <laughs> even when we picked our wedding date, I'm just saying, it didn't person, mean anything. It, here's what it I would do. It was a date. If I were you, I would do this. On the date that you had picked to be your wedding, I would still get married. A small ceremony, and invite your parents for sure, but do a real small ceremony without the big party, without the big to-do, and then... Maybe for your first anniversary, have a big party. Or for your fifth anniversary or whatever. Well, we didn't even have our parents there. No. So that's not, you know what I mean? I'm not I mean? saying that, that they should I'm do what we I, did. When I look back and I compare the two ceremonies. Yeah, we're not for doing For me, that. the one that was better yeah. was the one I had with you because <laughs> I wasn't worried about, can the people in the back hear what I'm saying? Exactly. Can the people, you know... And we got the coolest video in the world. So oh, like, <laughs> my gosh. Our video yes. should be on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... It, it is so crazy. <laughs> we watch it now, and it's just the most... We're like, what is this? What were we doing? <laughs> we just did what they told us to do. It was at a resort in Jamaica. It was very weird. But I would at encourage you... At the end of the you, day, do what makes your heart yeah. happy. Do what feels right to you, and, and that's what you do. More importantly yeah. now... Ladies and gentlemen listening, if you have advice that you would like to chime in, maybe there's somebody listening that's very passionate about why, you know what, no, you wait for that big wedding. I'm not saying that's the wrong answer. If that's the answer you want to give, you have a voice too. Your voice, I don't want to say 
it's uh, the same because I understand you don't get to say it on the radio, but you you have an equal voice because you get to type it on Facebook. Most of those answers are way better than what we spit out here on the radio anyway. Except so. for what I say, because well, what I say is always not correct. Necessarily. So if you, <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to chime in with advice for bride-to-be, it would mean a lot to me. I want to make sure this young lady gets good advice. I think we've given good advice, but I know there's another side of this. And there's somebody listening I've to the radio. i both sides. I'm just saying, there's somebody listening I to the radio. Give right now, a point of view from both. There's sides. somebody listening right now that's thinking very strongly that, that you should have that wedding, and I would love for you to chime in with that viewpoint on our Facebook page, so that way they have that covered as well. And if you'd like to submit a letter for next week, you can do that at the same place: Facebook.com/slash John and Heidi Show. Many people have dabbled in the stock market for their very first time ever this year. If you're new to the market, but you don't want to learn things the hard way and the expensive way, I encourage you to subscribe to this free newsletter. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com. Subscribe for free. If you change your mind, just unsubscribe. Sign up for free right now at marketbeatminute.com. That's marketbeatminute.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The baby blue whale grows 200 pounds per day. Yeah. Whoa, and I thought I was gaining weight yeah. fast during quarantine. Yeah, no kidding. Blue whale calves grow 200 pounds a day for the first year they're alive. They can move at a brisk pace of 5 miles per hour when fully grown, but they can get up to 20 miles per hour if need be. They can also hear up to a 1,000 miles away in the ocean. So that's pretty darn cool. A lot of info right there about the baby blue whale. Like whales. I do too. That is today's fun fact. Some credit cards have really high rates or big annual fees. Usually, people sign up for these when it's all they qualify for. If that sounds like you, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation changes, and you may qualify for a better credit card. Your current card hopes you don't think about it, but our site shows you many options to see if there's a better credit card for you. Check it out for free at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, a news headline from somewhere in this world, Dateline Asia. It says here, forget murder hornets. Now we have giant gypsy moths from Asia. Oh, good Lord. What is going on? <laughs> Apparently, here's the thing. I, I read, again, online that uh, these things have been around a while. So it's like, this is nothing new. But it's just, I think what the main issue is, it's like more people have time to find things online. So like, oh, you think that's scary? Look at this thing. So when you think about it, there's a lot of stuff in the world that we don't know about. But once we know about it, and then it gets shared on social media, people think that, ooh, this is like a big deal now. Well, it's probably no bigger deal than it was well, two months ago. we don't want gypsy moths. No, we don't I want I mean, them. they travel community to community. They steal your stuff. They sell it to other people. <laughs> is that what gypsy moths it do? It is bad, <laughs> think, bad stuff. I don't think that's what they do. But this has been a news headline from somewhere in this world. We're here to make it better. If you find that drug or alcohol problems are hitting you too close to home, you can get help. Maybe it's time for rehab. Your insurance may even cover everything. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. Get help for a drug or alcohol problem within 24 hours. We're here to make it better. Get more information at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. A Florida woman battered her husband with a bouquet of Mother's Day flowers. So this happened, I'm assuming, on Mother's Day. But investigators say 32-year-old Sandra K. Webb and her spouse were in their Tampa area residence when matters turned physical. It says here, this was after Mother's Day. It was Monday, so Monday after Mother's Day. Webb was upset that the victim... Because he bought her children flowers to give her for Mother's Day. This made the defendant angry. According to an arrest affidavit, Webb allegedly threw the flowers at the victim while he was in bed and struck him with a bouquet. Webb is also accused of spitting on her husband's arm and chest after being read her rights. Uh, Webb admitted to police that she threw the flowers but denied the spitting part. Charged with domestic battery and misdemeanor, she was booked into the jail from which she was released Monday afternoon. 
I, I don't understand. Why would he? But it was really sweet. Yeah, so like he bought he, her flowers, and she got mad and beat him with the flowers. So Maybe I, she wanted the kids to do it themselves. I but don't. But either way, don't he was trying to, like. Uh, we don't know. know the whole story. I've got a link to it if you want to read all about it. But what a yeah. bizarre. That's why it is today's. Maybe it was those gypsy moms. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> but it was today's weird news. Now your moment of duh, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. Florida police are searching for a man who allegedly pulled out a gun and threatened another customer at a grocery store. Officers responded at 6.30 p.m. That's what time this happened. Unidentified man threatened another customer. No shots fired, thank goodness. Nobody injured, thank goodness. Circumstances leading up to the argument, not immediately clear. But when customers learned of an armed individual inside the store... It says here they ran out of the supermarket. The suspect at the time also left the scene. Police released a surveillance image of the man wearing a light-colored hat, surgical gloves, and a medical face mask. Anyone with info on the suspect's identity should contact the police. That narrows it down to 95% of people that were you know, in the, in the community that day. Uh, they were all wearing the masks. That's the tough thing. Like right now, everybody looks kind of the same. When we're all wearing masks, and I know everybody has, like, I have a fun mask. When I go places, I have people that comment all the time on my mask. So if you're going to wear a mask, I mean, make it fun. I've got a link to this story in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you pay too much for insurance? Have you looked around? Or are you too chicken? Don't be afraid to look around to see if you can find a better deal at insurancechicken.com. We make it super simple for you to see rates from several different companies, to see what they have to offer, all in one place. Heck out great insurance deals at insurancechicken.com. Is it time for you to cross the road? See if we can save you money each month at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for fake news or Florida. Heidi, tell me, is this a true story from the great state of Florida, or is it hashtag fake news made up to trick you and amuse me? Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Fake news or Florida? A Florida man was arrested for attacking a woman with a cheeseburger. Fake news or Florida? Florida. Let's see. That is a true story. It is from Florida. Who would do that? Why would I think you- we've read... I think we did, this. now that you say that. I yeah. think we have read that. But I, I, I was like, this is ridiculous. I don't know why. You can attack somebody, use a weapon. No, yeah. use a cheeseburger. So, let me rephrase that for her. Don't attack people. That's, yeah, that's, but, a, you know, that's much gonna, better advice. I'm just saying. You better, you better mean business. I'm, I'm just, just saying, saying. If we're going to dole out advice, let's dole out good advice. A dead victim can't testify. Would you just stop? <laughs> wow. That is not the official stance of this station <laughs> or this program. Now, this has been <laughs> fake news or Florida. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. I think this is good news, and we need some good news right now. (laughs) It comes your way courtesy of hashtag gift card challenge. Thank you to everybody participating in that, by the way. You can find all of the details at giftcardchallenge.org. You ready for some good news? I am so ready for good news. Here's the good news. news. A postal worker is leaving gift cards for 2020 grads on his postal route. Oh, how sweet is that? Lifting the spirits of graduating high school seniors unable to walk across the stage near classmates due to the pandemic. One mailman by the name of Josh Crowell. He delivers mail on uh, routes near Concord, New Hampshire. And I guess mailman's the wrong. What is it called? Letter carrier. Mail carrier. Mail carrier. See, I don't even know. I have a sister who's a, a mail, mail carrier. carrier. Letter letter carrier? What is she? She's a mail, <laughs> a mail carrier. carrier. See, I don't know what it is. But she's really good at it, and she really likes it. And I know that she has fallen in love with people on her route as well. They're oh, just, of course. Like, the coolest people. She's like, oh, she's so sweet. She's so nice. So this guy, Josh Crowell, same thing. Delivers mail 
in New Hampshire. He's been delivering handwritten notes and $5 gift cards to homes where there are graduation signs on the lawn because he understands that, hey, they don't even get to cross the stage. So he's handed out at least 25 gift cards. He said $5 is not much, but it's something for the kids that don't even get to get out of the house and get a donut. What a nice he said, so guy. He's given like Dunkin' Donuts cards and stuff. He said that way they can go get a donut and some coffee. Um, he said he's received many thank you notes from seniors responding to the gift cards. One thank you note said, this year has not been easy for most of us, but I'm, uh, but I think being able to make somebody's day is important. Thank you for being an essential worker. It means a lot. He said uh, uh, he's using his own personal money to buy the gift cards. He said, I'm not very well off wow. myself, but I look at it as if I put a smile on somebody's face, then I'm going to do it. Yeah. Wow. I love that. What a cool story. What a cool person. Huge. I just think that is really, really neat. I've got a link to that more story. like that. Oh, yeah. We've got a link to the story in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show.